So John Pierre, a lot of our customers and clients or followers, uh, I shouldn't say clients, you guys are the clients, but our followers are fairly passionate about the way they design or set out their, their dream home or their dream renovation. Um, so getting into the mindset of how you run your process or the stages of design and get to where the finish is from the start when it's conceptual. Just can you run us through some of those things that go through your mind or how you work with your staff and those areas? Yeah, I guess we go through four to five phases within um, our process within the studio and where we work with our clients and, and others. Um, we do work quite closely with um, our team um, and obviously in a collaboration with our clients as well. We have found the best outcomes uh, when we all work together and put our ideas, collaborate and work with our clients for the best outcome. Um, we start off with a phase called pre-design, right. so by far it's almost like a, a briefing and research phase for where we absorb all the information, um, yeah, do our own research into a look, feel, style and tone, um, and put together like um, yeah, a reference mood board um, and return a brief. Okay. From there we sort of send to schematic design, by which we start putting together and collate all of that information that we've gathered. Um, into some schematical plans, elevations, um, and then sort of like, yeah, start to then think about colours, finishes, and materials. Um, once we sort of get all our approvals for schematic design, we then move into design development, by which we sort of like, it's more of a refinement process. So really sort of like um, consolidating our initial thoughts, ideas, sketches um, into one direction and how those materials and finishes are going to be affected either by the construction of the building design um, and obviously any of the internal finishes as well. Um, from there we stem to construction documentation so we're obviously liaising with any external consultants, building surveyors, engineers, um, acoustic engineers, um, we're working on a set of drawings which will then enable the client or the builder um, to actually construct the project and see this end vision come to life. And so when you present that to your client, you've come there with the whites that you're going to select or you've got a couple that you say, hey, this is what we're thinking about and let them make the final selection? Yeah, so generally, yeah, we put forward the strongest selection of whites that are best suit and work with um, all the other finishes that we're proposing. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, we've actually got, uh, whether it's a Torbman's or whether it's a Dulux that we're working with because of the nature of the project. Um, yeah, it's sort of like consolidating that with materials and finishes. Um, yeah. okay. Well, it's been great to have Jean-Pierre today with us. Learned a lot, I'm sure uh, this content is going to be great. Check out the Diazol website, we'll have it up on our um, content when you see this. And we're going to take you for a look around to see some other parts of how Diazol design work. Thank you. Thanks again, Phil. Good to see you.